family, it's Ani here, back with another video. I am so excited to come back on here after a long hiatus of just not feeling like I needed to post. Um, I felt like my social media needed to be geared towards Black Lives Matter and that was what it was geared towards and it's still geared towards. If you follow me on Insta, you know for a fact that I'm always posting stuff on Black Lives Matter and posting on how you can help the whole situation. So please follow me, I'll follow you. I don't care about having less followers than followers or whatever the heck the, the thing is that you have to have when you're cool. I don't care about that. I follow everybody because I'm interested in everybody. So get it. Anyways, back to my video. I just want to come on here really quickly and show you guys how I do my edge more. I haven't come up with a good name for it, but I'm just gonna call it the more edges, lay down, sway down style, okay? And what I mean by that is when I pull my hair back, you see that, honey? You see that, honey? Honey. You see that? Honey. Yes. I came up with this because this wig initially was way too big for my head. You will see how I lay my frontal down behind my edges so that I can, when the wind blows, all you see is edges. All you see is edges, honey. And we can eliminate the baby foreheads. Let's eliminate baby foreheads because I hate having a baby forehead. Like with curly hair, it's super easy to eliminate baby forehead. Straight hair, you might have to straighten your edges all that shit. You might have to get a little damage. But with curly hair, you it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what your edges look like because they're small anyway. So if this curl is super loose and this curl is super tight, it doesn't matter because it should be. Little little curls should be tighter than big curls. That is the only reasonable explanation. So anyways, keep on watching. I hope you guys like it. Um. That's it. <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking now because I talk too much. Okay, okay, bye. So, we are going to begin with just three staple products. One of them is the Got To Be... Sorry, my glue is broken. What is the Got To Be Glue Lasting Freeze Spray Screaming Hold For Hair? Now, I used to use the regular gel, but it really just took too long to dry. And I ain't got time for it, you know what I'm saying? So this is what we're gonna use today. Just be aware. So this is what we should be using. The spray is where it's at, okay? Say bye to the gel, hello to the spray. It's like a bite of the lace glue and the wheat glue and hello to the spray, right? Okay. Right. And second, we have our trusty Dusty. Not the Dusty, because I cleaned it. But it's trusty and it's our edge brush, okay? This is the edge brush. Please don't use regular toothbrushes on your edges because the bristles are probably way too hard for your edges and they're probably pulling them out. Let's do this. Go to the beauty supply, get you one of these edge toothbrushes with the softer bristles so you can, you know, you know, you know, you know. And lastly, but not least, we don't really need this because I already detangled my his hair. It's not my hair, but I bought it, so this is my hair there. And I tangled it with this Denman brush. This is also a trusty dusty staple product in my hair regimen. And my weave regimen, wig regimen, whatever regimen for curly hair is this brush because it just gets through the tangles. So Denman brush on the go. Oh snap! I almost forgot this baby. Let's speed up this process, okay? And this baby. Lock it in. Okay, this baby is a diffuser. My mom gave it to me and my sisters use it religiously and I started using it for these curls. I haven't used it for my actual hair yet, but with these curls, it's lit. So I'm gonna show you how to diffuse. You know, if you don't know how to diffuse, you're gonna learn today. You're gonna learn today. We all know of the wig cap process, of the stocking cap process, where they use the stocking cap and they Put, you know, they lay down your edges and lay down and bring down your hairs and they put the stocking cap on and they glue it down. Not glue it down, but they spray it down with they spray it down with that. And then they dry it and then they put the wig on and it looks like scalp. Scalpatina. All that. All that. So I am lazy and in this lazy girl journey of mine, I just personally don't care about having the real scalp illusion. So what I do is I literally like you can already see it's pretty tinted because I've been wearing this unit, for me personally, wigs never work because of this. You see these? No. Now this, okay, this is my baby hair. But this, this, that's my baby hair, okay? It's not like to hide. It, it wants to be shown it, and it's easily pulled out. Pull, pull. 
of words. It's easy to pull out. So I don't like to put wigs or frontals really over my edges anymore because I wanna keep those babies thriving. Like, look at them. This is like no product. I mean, it's like a little bit of like disgusting old ass blue, but it's no actual product on my edges. You know, they're just laid because I'll be putting my oil on at night. Anyway, that's for another video. <laughs> Foundation on this part and I go about my day. So let me show you, ways. Let's go back to this. This is the part I really care about. I don't really care about the back because who's looking at the top of my head besides my boyfriend? Nobody, so get the fuck away. So you little swirly swirl, a little blowy blow, and then you just paint it on like that, you know? Sometimes I'll spray a little um, setting spray on it if I feel like being fancy, but I mean, it's so tinted because I've been doing it for like every day for a month, so it doesn't matter. And the cosmetics getting on my direct hair it doesn't have an effect on me. I personally don't know how the cosmetics being on your hair slash scalp will affect you. But every night, I, I mean, every time I take a shower, I wash this part of my head. So I'm like washing the products out. And then I put oil in, making sure I moisturize and everything. As much, like, as much hair as I can reach, it's getting moisturized. All this under here, like you can't see but it's braided up, but I got little kitchens coming out. I got little kitchens, and that is getting moisturized, okay? Because I don't have time to lose my kitchens. Do you have time to lose kitchens? No, I don't. So I'm just gonna start like shimming it forward. I'm really going to brush my edges forward with nothing on the brush. So I'm just gonna brush it forward just so I can kind of get that line of demarcation, you know? And my edges aren't gonna stay like this forever. Definitely not even for like five seconds, so I kind of have to do this hella quick, okay? You want to brush, 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 and then brush your edges forward. This is a solution if you have too many edges, which is not a problem. This is a solution to wigs not fitting on your head or a frontal is not looking right. Because you don't want to put a frontal way down here. Because Especially if you have small forehead, do this. Because when you put your frontal down here and you have... You have a three head, basically a two head. If you have a two head, we know that it's a frontal. When, you're, when your shit comes all the way up here, your part your part doesn't come all the way up here. There's just no fucking way that your hairline starts right in the middle of your forehead. It's just, it wouldn't be right. And if it does, I mean, you have a lot of hair, which is great, but I have never seen someone's hairline start back here. I've seen it start back here, for sure, but I've never seen it start up here, so. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, Let's position this and let's pull this forward. We gotta do one side at a time because it will not come out right if you don't. So kind of just like push it down on the line where it would be. And then you wanna spray. Spray right there and push it down. And then you wanna take your trusty dusty blow dryer and blow dry it. Once that part is dry, you just kind of want to like brush your, your edges over it, if that makes sense, and kind of hold it. And you're good. And now you continue down the line. So this is like the most important part, obviously, because it's touching your actual scalp. So this part doesn't really matter that much. You kind of just want it to stick. So I just do it carelessly. I spray, scratch, spray, scratch it a little. Because I have these nails, I don't necessarily need a comb. But if I didn't have these nails, I would definitely suggest a comb. So just make sure you spray all the parts that you want to stay down. And then clap it down and blow dry. Take like a little spray bottle with some water, with some water, and then you just wanna 
spray a little bit on your actual brush, on your actual brush, on your edge brush, and kind of like brush your edges back into the hair, if that makes sense. And like do it very, very lightly. When I say very, very lightly, I mean very lightly. Don't, don't put too much. I promise if you put too much water, it's just gonna come up. If you press too hard, then you just blow dried your edges for no reason. So just do it very lightly and it'll blend. Like so. And your edges, if you wanna put some curly stuff on it, you can. If you don't, I don't care. I don't put it on there because I feel like edges should be on really if they wanna be, so whatever. I am going to just put a little bit of Got To Be Glue spray on my brush and brush it through as well so that it helps it stick to the hair more, you know? And there you are. There is your edge full hairline. Okay, okay. So now we're gonna do the other side. The other side is the same exact thing. Just gonna pull it forward. This part is gonna be like on your skin. So we're gonna do that part first. I just like to make sure that like it's gonna be flat, you know? So, a little spray. That was a lot of spray, my bad. Put a lot of spray and then kind of comb it down, you know? And then you wanna blow dry. I'm sorry. Oof, my arms hurt. <laughs> this is a process. Brush your edges. Shimmy, shimmy. A little water. Always pull down with me, Gonna brush it back once more. And then, just for sake keeping, I'm gonna take all the clips out and make sure just put a scarf on for maybe 10 minutes. I'm gonna walk my dog. I don't know why that accent just came out of nowhere. It happens sometimes, so please don't judge me. And please don't think that I'm making fun of anybody because I'm not. I just, my mom always did accents when I was growing up. So I feel like low key, I have a bunch of different accents. Uh, please don't judge me when you hear them because I don't even know that I'm doing them sometimes. So we're just gonna do very loose. I don't like tying it too tight because then I get a headache. I don't even like tying it two times, but I need to stay on my head. So we're gonna flip and tie. And then we're gonna walk my dog. Well, I'm gonna walk my dog. So we are back from our walk. As you can see, the wind was a little blowy. And it didn't work out. So we're gonna just re this itch. Alright? Let's start off with. And let me tell you a little bit about it. It is from Billionaire's Hair. She is a famous Instagrammer. Um, she makes wigs and she came up with the real scalp method a lot of people still her method blah, blah 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 i don't know the true um history behind that exactly but i do know her wigs are really bomb and she always has sales sis okay sales this wig this unit was a hundred dollars and it was an 18 inch so it was like on me um when i first got it it was really nice it took a long time to figure out how to wear it and by the time i figured out how to wear it I had already cut bangs in it, I cut it into a bob, and I had taken the whole wig apart and made it into a sign. So, trial and error, you know? I like to wear most of the hair to one side. I don't know why. Please don't question me. Okay, okay. And then, oh, oh, just punched myself in the eye being an itch. Let's actually take this. Itch. Let's take this thing off because we don't need it anymore. Because we done. We dry. All right. Take it off slow. Don't just rip it off your hair. 
because it might be a little sticky, icky, icky, icky. Let's examine it. So we need to brush this just a little, but. my too much edge method. This is how I do it. Um, please excuse all these bald spots right now because I have been wearing this, this unit for a long time and I don't treat it like my regular hair. I just rake through it. I don't deep condition it because if I wanted to do all that, I would just do it to my hair. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I have bald patches and it's thinning and it needs to be taken out. But I feel like if it still looks good, I'm a rocket. There's like no hair on this front, so I'm a rocket. I'm a rocket. Okay. Curly hair just needs to be taken care of. It doesn't like to be rushed, okay? So take care of it, you know? Your actual curly hair leaves. I mean, it's up to you. You know, you spent your money on it and it depends on how long you want to wear this. I never wear hairstyles for that long anyway, so it never really bothers me to just be careless which is what I am, so judge me. So I'm sorry, I can't see. We just wanna make sure all the tracks are covered back here. So as much as they can be. And then really cool like 70s look, or like, maybe not 70s, it's more like an 80s like, um, uh, 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 uh. you know what I'm talking about. Um, what is her name on the tip of my tongue? I'll remember it. But if you saw Grease 2, Stephanie, the girl, that was like the main girl in, in Grease 2, she rocks her shit like this, all right? And ever since I saw it, I love it, okay? So, I'ma rock my shit like her. You feel what I'm saying? Even if I'm not, I could. I wanna, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, okay. And I think I just did. So, I don't know, shit, I keep cutting this. You know why? Cause that's, that's not where that goes. That's why. Funnest part of the whole video. Diffusing, once I can find my diffuser. Right. I found it, I found it. What movie is that from? Hint, it's a cartoon. That's only true. I found it. He. It's cartoon. All right, let me know in the comments below. What movie is that? Huh? So we're gonna be diffusing on high heat because I don't have time for that ish. If it was my regular hair, I would probably do low heat. But since this isn't my regular hair, I don't really care if it gets damaged. I'm gonna do high heat. Let's get it popping. Mostly on this side, I don't really like to diffuse this side too much. I like to keep it kind of like movable, so I can like, if I wanted to flip it more, I could flip it more. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Back to it. Okay. I do it kind of recklessly as well because I like the frizz on this hair. I don't care about it being frizzy. I like it. It's big. It's beautiful, and I want to take all of it. You know, the frizzier it is, the bigger it is, the better I feel. So. Now, I'd probably be done at this point. I love, 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 love this look. This is it for me. If you liked it, please like and subscribe to my channel. I will be doing a lot more videos, I promise. I felt like I, like me making videos wasn't important right now. You know, with all the movements going on and COVID-19 and like police brutality and there's just so much. And it's, it's, it's a really heavy weight on people of color. So anybody watching this that is a person of color, 
I I pray for you every day and I pray that God keeps you safe from anything and anyone that's going to try to harm you, regardless of what their color is, regardless of how they feel about your color. It shouldn't be a reason to harm someone. That should never be something that is normalized. It's taken, it's taken a very big toll on my life just experiencing that firsthand. Of course, we've all learned about it in school, but we didn't have cameras and we didn't have things to show what's actually going on, but now we do. So I strongly encourage everyone to always keep their phone on full bars when you're out just to record anything that's going to happen maybe to you or to someone that you might love or like or stranger that you feel is being threatened. You can definitely not be an innocent bystander, which is still not innocent if you don't do anything about what's happening. We went to all those bullying seminars when we were younger. If you stand around and watch the fight, you're as responsible for watch for fighting. So if you stand around and watch an innocent person of color get killed for no reason, you are just as much a murderer as the person that killed them. Oh, that's all I'm saying. I'm gonna end it right there because it's getting a little too serious, but I just wanted to say that I love everyone regardless of your color. I have all types of friends and I love them dearly and I would never trade any of them for anything in the world, ever, ever. And I just wanna spread love. So get prepared for a bunch more videos. So guys, my um, length of what my hair looks like because it's high. I mean, honestly, I don't even know what my hair looks like because it's been so freaking long since I've seen it. So I'm so excited. I hope you guys are excited. I hope you guys liked my video. Please subscribe, comment, and share it if you would like to see more videos. If you would like me to do anything specific, definitely comment down below because I am down to try anything. Be everyone and no one at the same time, if that makes sense. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm gonna end this video. Okay, bye!